In the last video, we went over how to keep high porosity hair happy. I can't move on to the next topic without talking about low porosity hair. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to keep low porosity hair happy. Disclaimer! Hair typing something as diverse and advanced as natural hair is a bit complicated. There are six categories and within each category is a scale with two extreme ends. The combinations are endless, so everyone has a place. It's important that I point out that in this video, I'm referring to low porosity, dense, and thick hair types. Because a good amount of you with low porosity hair also have these other characteristics. And a good amount of you with high porosity hair also have a more sparse and fine hair type. But there's also all types of combinations in between. So if you're looking to add something new to your regimen, some of you may have to pick tips from both the high and low porosity videos. So keep that in mind. Low porosity hair for the most part is pretty durable. A lot has to happen to damage this hair type. But a lot does happen, especially if your hair is also dense and textured. So low porosity hair types tend to have ends that are a lot more sparse than the rest of their hair. In some cases, your hair can look really close to transitioning hair. So an extra focus on the ends will help this hair type go really far. Below is a link to a video on what I do to keep my ends full. Low porosity hair types tend to have thick cuticle layers, so it does a great job at holding onto microscopic water molecules. Compared to high porosity hair types, it takes longer to get crispy dry and doesn't need to be soaking wet as often. Think of it like high porosity hair is like a plant that needs to be watered often, and low porosity hair is like a plant that doesn't need to be watered as often. Low porosity hair is really good at soaking in and holding on to small amounts of water at a time. Very little water is needed to re-moisturize this hair. In fact, in my experience, I've noticed that my hair prefers when I use a small amount of liquid to re-moisturize it. It feels like my hair takes in and holds on to small amounts of liquid really well. A great advantage of this is that it's really easy to keep this hair type stretched without drying out for a long time. Below is a link to a two-part video on how I keep my low porosity hair stretched, clean, moisturized, lubricated, all of that for weeks. I do it without having to get my hair soaking wet and losing my stretch. Low porosity hair also has a high tolerance for long-term protective styles. Thick hair strands with smoother cuticle layers makes this hair type less susceptible to complicated tangles. So a head of low porosity hair can hold on to a lot of shed hair without running into any matting issues. Also, low porosity hair types with thick dense hair strands can withstand the extra weight of added hair without thinning out Protective styling is a great tool to include in your healthy hair journey, but it can also set you back if you misuse it. I'm going to be posting a video soon on my complete protective style regimen, but for now, here's a little chart that I put together. One thing that I want to point out is that textured hair tangles around itself easily. So adding hair helps hold each hair strand in place and keeps them from wrapping around each other. That's why the recommended time to wear a protective style with no added hair is less than a protective style with added hair. By now, we all know that all natural tightly textured hair benefits one way or the other from stretching. The difference with low porosity hair is that due to the tight cuticle layers, it may prefer heat stretching over heatless stretching. If done correctly, heat stretching can be a game changer to your regimen. With your hair properly stretched, you can see and care for your ends better. 
and with the tight cuticle scales stretched, they can soak in moisture more easily. Below is a link to a heat series I posted. I go over details on how I heat stretch my hair and how I keep my stretch for weeks. There's also a link to a video I posted on my regimen for my ends. So as a recap, four tips to keep low porosity hair happy is to focus on your ends, try not to overwater, protective styles, and heat stretching. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.